What's up folks, this is Kempass UK, here with a kind of part narration, part guide to get into the submarine on Namowsk in Daisy Standalone. The loot you get, uh, what to do, kind of what not to do, and a little bit of bonus content at the end. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video, as always, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing as well, it helps me out, it just means you'll see the next video a bit more easily as well. Anyway, uh, getting back to the video, we are on the east coast of Namowsk. We have geared up, and we'll go from there. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, nervous. It's going to be fine, right? We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Oh, also, uh, a quick run through of what we have. Again, this is a regular server, it's not even hardcore, but we have, and these are all important items. We've got 20 sticks for making fires. We've got a good amount of rags. We have matches and a lighter. Of course, the matches can get damp. The lighter will still work, even if it does get damp. We've got eight bits of chevron steak, courtesy of a goat, and our leather backpack, and a piece of fat. Clothing-wise, we've got bad insulation trainers, best insulation hunter pants, best insulation down jacket, Good insulation tactical gloves, best insulation balaclava, high insulation radar cap, and a high insulation backpack. We've also got a long stick for fishing and cooking our meat. Uh, you could have a fishing pole to improve your chance of fishing while out on the ice, but you'll need more space to store it. So those are all sort of essential or semi-essential things you need to survive. Obviously you need warmth, you need fire, you need food, you need to stay dry as best you can. That's what we have. Right, let's just reset. Okay, let's go. You want to do really is get between Jalvisko and Nemsk on the coast here. And the reason you want to be you want to be between Jalvisko and Nemsk is because if you cross over to the ice, you will come across two banks of water. You'll come across a bank of water here, go north to south, which you need to cross, and you'll also come across another bank of water here, north to south, which you'll need to cross. Um, if you see this, you know you need to get across it, and all the time you're crossing the ice, you need to be heading north-east. Now, the best way to navigate is obviously with a compass. Um, it's not exactly northeast, east um, but a compass will help you sort of get in the general direction. If you don't have a compass, you can use, obviously, a combination of the watch and where the sun is in the sky. If the sun is shining for you happily in the mouse, you can use that as well to navigate. Otherwise, it's trial and error. I'm not going to take too much of the fun out of it because just heading out onto this ice is a scary but fun experience really. It really is something that you need to do and uh, although I was very very lucky to do it on my like first proper attempt, you can obviously make it a lot quicker than I did. I kind of came across, I went up here, I scooted around, I went over here, I came back down, I went along and finally sort of got to the the SCAT-12 submarine. So, you know, you kind of need to find your way a little bit, but this north to south bank of water and this north to south bank of water here will help. They will help. Um, which is why leaving from this part of the coast between Jalavisco and Nemsk is pretty useful. Also, you've got opportunities here to gear up a bit and uh, get yourself in a good way before you make the crossing. And we're back to the swim. Now the important thing to notice here as we're swimming across to the ice is that our temperature drops. It goes light blue, then it goes dark blue. At dark blue, it's not normally an issue because you just start losing health ever so slowly. But when you're wet as well, obviously you can get frostbite, which will remove segments of your health that you can't get back later. So getting wet and cold is obviously the, the clear issue here in going out into the... Uh, the ice so when we get out and uh, what we'll need to do is warm up we will get a little bit of bounce back on the temperature as we exit the cold water but our clothes will still be wet or damp or drenched 
and so it's important really to ring these out as often and as soon as you can. I don't think I do it here on a get out of the water, but I take one look at my temperature, which is obviously worth managing the whole time you're out on the ice. I take one look at it, I see, okay, I'm cold. I think about making a fire, it bounces back to white temperature. I'm like, okay, fine, I'm warm. I'll continue for a bit. I'm a bit concerned about the amount of sticks that I've got. I don't want to use them too early because I don't know exactly where I'm going. And having fire and the ability to make fire on the way back is key to survival. So yeah, there we are. We're on the ice. I kind of feel like this is going the right way. I want to hit sort of more east and north, kind of northeast east, I guess. Okay. I feel like we must be getting close. I kind of like, maybe we need to go north. Right, let's start a fire here. So this is my first fire on the ice. I'm taking the opportunity here to fully dry out my clothes, cook some food, uh, get a good amount of food so hydration and my hunger are in good places as we carry on the journey. Also, worth remembering here, I had completely forgotten this run, but if you cook food and you carry it, you obviously maintain your body heat with the heat of the food. If you've got a waterproof bag or we've got a leather bag here that can prevent that food getting damp in any way or for any period of time, that will maintain that heat and obviously heat your body for longer. I could have done that on the journey of cross. I could have cooked some meat beforehand, put it in a waterproof bag, um, helped my body heat last a bit longer. I didn't do that. I am cooking meat now. I'm choosing to, on this run, I think, cook a bit of meat at each fire that I make, only because I don't want to cook it all, and then not have any heat later on in the run. So if I cook a bit, I eat a bit, I store a bit on me, I've got a bit of extra body warmth, next fire, I cook some more, heat it up, bit of extra body warmth. That's kind of the ad hoc theory that I was going with here. Right, anyway... So I guess we need to go further north. It's nice that it's cleared up a little bit for us. That's really good. I suppose taking the shades off probably helped as well. Maybe we're not north enough. Uh, east enough, even. That's possible, right? That is possible. We haven't come too far over. That is west. That is south. So I do think we need to go a bit more north. Okay.
Where on earth is the submarine, everyone? I know it's pretty far north. Well, it's not even north, is it? It's pretty far east. Yeah, maybe I need to go south and more east. I can I can try that now. I am concerned though because we uh, we're running out of wood. And we're running out of food as well. And if I can't catch anything next time, we're gonna be in a bit of trouble. Dicey dicey survival in Daisy. As per usual, you might say. As per usual. Oh no. It's a cold event. It's a cold event. And we are going to die out here. seen these things in the, in the distance and I'm like are you a sub? Are you a sub? I should probably have checked to uh, see how to find the sub before attempting to do so but it can't be any further east surely No way. This better be the sub, but if it's not... It's all for nothing. I mean, the experience is cool. But against the sub is super cool. If that is what that is. I think it is. Oh my goodness. What? Oh my good god. Unbelievable. We're making it to the sub. That's crazy. Can we get back to land afterwards? I don't know, but... We should have enough food, I think. Well, that is that is far east. That is about as far east as you can think of. I thought I was into kind of debug territory. Please be the sub. Please don't be a mirage. That is super far east. We'd have to make another fire. I think that is it, isn't it? Alright, let's... We are short of <laughs> everything at this point.
it being a cold event as well. This is uh, particularly harsh. We'll roast the last of our meat. Oh man. And then we just use head west, 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 when we can. When on the way back, hopefully. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We could get killed before we get there. That is a possibility. That would be so gutting if someone was to kill me now. I really hope that doesn't happen. I really hope that doesn't happen. got a badly damaged uh, stick so as soon as that is ruined we can't use it anymore that would be rubbish uh, we're out of meat we've got the fat we can cook and then on the way back the fires are just for us and if we've still got a stick we can do a bit of fishing but that's a big big if Oh, just pack cooked. Okay. Uh, put that there. Heat pack goes there. Can we get the plus symbol? I've got one more stick I can put on there, I guess. fire might not get ah oh, I was gonna say the fire might not get warm enough. But it has. Obviously we don't have a pistol here to uh to defend ourselves, but we do have twenty two no not no twenty two. We do have a sledgehammer, which is good to have. Oh man, I don't have to cross that. They go around. swim across. I think we probably should, otherwise I'm going to lose sight of it. Right, let's go. Whether or not we make it back, we've now made it to the sub. We know where it is. Well, we've seen it. We haven't been there yet, but we've seen it. Plus symbol, come on.
Oh my god. We could still get frostbite. This is crazy. This is so hard. This is regular as well. This isn't even hardcore. Hey guys, it's post-submarine camp here again. Just to point out here that I should really be wringing my clothes out. Uh, they're drenched at this point. I should be wringing them out, give myself a bit more opportunity to get more warmth. And also, I have no weapon. I've got a sledgehammer. I've got no pistols. They will be infected at the sub. Um, yeah, which I was a bit anxious about. But uh, I really didn't approach the best way. This is so far east. Oh my goodness. I thought we were really kitted out in terms of sticks. We've got six sticks left. Mm, I should have put I should have put the meat in the rucksack. That's what I should have done. that I didn't expect there to be an alien thing at the sub what what Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, they're damp again. God damn it. Jesus Christ. So cold. Oh. 
Oh, my heart is actually racing. I'm really quite anxious. I'm cold. I'm running out of food. As desperate as I am to loot the sub, I want to make sure I'm kind of warm. Uh, I'm right by the hatch. The fire is right by the hatch, so if anyone else comes, I'm pretty vulnerable. Uh, but I need to get warm. I have to get warm. I'm dark blue here, and it's just a priority. It's just a priority. I'm taking deep breaths rather than speaking, which is why I'm so quiet at this point. Also, as much as I lovingly repair the shoes in a minute, uh, they get me into a bit of trouble a bit later on. I'll let that roll. Um, I'll cut out most of the journey heading back from here. Uh, but yes, watch out for the shoes a little bit later on. I'm repairing them. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's repair these. Anything else damp? No, no, no. Ah, oh, hat. Okay. Ooh. Do we have any chlorine? We do not have any chlorine. Okay, no worries. Ooh. Scopes are interesting, but none of them go on the guns that I've got. Nope. 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 <laughs> okay. Take that, though. Vega mag. Sewing kit, lovely. Night vision, lovely. That is good, that's a nice find. USG mag. Oh. Can't actually use that, unfortunately, at the moment. Nice. Key card. Patrol hood. Best insulation, eh? Huh. Okay. Hang on. We got ourselves a my undetector. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, what happened to my, uh... Oh. Okay. If you don't yet know, the reason you come to the sub is to get uh, a Muyon detector. It's not the only place you can get them. Night vision, I think it is one of the only places you can get them in Namalsk. And also, a key card. The key card to get you to the alien planet, Lantia. So that's why you come here. So this is really, really top tier loot that I'm getting. Uh, there's no one else around and it's pretty much sought after. Need more batteries. We need more batteries. 
sand cool goggles. Lovely. Well, they do offer some insulation as well. That's nice. Well, this is a character to keep for later, isn't it? If we can, if we can survive. Mm. No weapons on any of them, unfortunately. Looks like that's it. I guess that's our lot. Nothing else around here, is there? Whoa. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's it then. Now let's get the hell out of here. As fast as our legs will take us. Oh, this is so tricky. We've got to get across here at some point, but I don't really want to do it at the moment. Um, I'd like to get across when it's thinner. I don't know if it's going to be any thinner. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be any thinner. We'll follow this south, then I think we can go west. It's kind of fine balance of... Trying to stay warm. Trying not to use too much stamina. Uh, trying not to burn through too much food at the same time. It's a tricky thing to do. really tricky. I can make another fire. I'm just trying to get as far south as I can before I do that. I feel like we should probably just head west now. I 
all the time we're light blue, I'm not too concerned. Trees. Okay, so trees have rendered in. That's good. Take one of these. Heading in the right direction. I feel like maybe let's uh, let's start a fire here. Yeah, we'll start a fire just by here. By this little lift in the ice. Still damp. Doesn't sound particularly friendly back on the main island. I think everything else is okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. The hood. These boots are so ridiculous. Oh, these shoes, rather. Gotta get some better shoes. OK. 
Okay, the plus symbol now would be great if we can. Just try those out. little land bridge. Look at that little land bridge. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> there was a land bridge. I can't believe we didn't get any bullets from over there. We've got nothing we can fire. ACP, shells. No guns we can fire. That's a ridiculous situation to be in. They should probably sort the loot out actually from the submarine. Have like a gun over there that like comes with a mag or something. I mean, our frost resistance has, uh, has definitely improved, that's for sure. Okay, good. Good. Alright, plus symbol, please. Then we'll try and make it back to dry, stable land away from the sub. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, plus symbol. It's only a 500 degree fire. Yay! We got it! Right, let's go. Zombie, I don't see any... Uh, I don't see any players there. Okay, we're going to have to do it anyway. Let's go. So tense.
So we're out of food, basically. We're out of uh, wood. That was a hell of an excursion. I'll be back on dry land. Amazing. Amazing. Obviously, we dropped our shotgun in the sea. And uh, I'm now kind of wishing we didn't. No, we didn't pick up our shoes. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. I'm sure we'll... Um, I'm sure we'll find some shoes somewhere. I didn't want them anyway. They were rubbish shoes. They were last seasons. So we have no shoes, but we do come across this shotgun. Now, not having shoes and having a shotgun comes in handy a little bit in a little bit of mayhem. Um, I'll let things roll on a little bit, but yeah, obviously we're having to bandage here. Our feet are bleeding because we have no shoes because some fool left them at a fire on the ice. Okay, shoes would be great at this point. Heard a door open. Definitely heard a door open.
I don't know how to play this. I need to get some shoes. Is this safe? I don't know. Now, if you look at the replay of that, one of them took the other one out, and I took the third one out. I assume at least two of them are dead. What didn't I do? I didn't take their shoes. I didn't take their shoes. I hung around. Oh, uh, well, never mind. Let's see what happens. We got one. Now, just as I'm about to go in this house, I turn around and I see someone running towards the house, and I know there's someone still in here who's up, they're injured, I can hear them moaning, but effectively, if this is the guy's friend coming back, then it's 2v1, and um, yeah, I didn't like those odds, so I just fall back a little bit.
This is uh this is a bit crazy. I need a boot. All I need is some shoes. Crap, let's go for it. Never mind. That's a shame though. I can see where we respawn. Let's have a little look. I knew he was upstairs. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have gone in the house. Damn it. I didn't want to lose our submarine loot, so I took five different respawns to try and get back to where I died. I didn't want to lose the muon detector, the night vision, the key card. But I think in dying there with that loot I created a bit of a hot spot on the map, so oops. Uh, better luck next time, I guess. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, our muon detector and stuff is definitely gone, but it's worth coming back just to check out what happened. any fire nice Ah, come on. We can share the loot. Right, I'm going to call it there. Uh, GG's, uh, see you next time.